The PLU Art Capstone Senior Show is one of the department's biggest events of the year. So why does the majority of campus population not know about its existence? I think that the key lies in the marketing. My name is Katie McGregor, and for my capstone project, I've created a PLU Senior Student Art Show Media and Marketing Plan. Now every year, um, the PLU Art Department puts on a senior show, and because I am a studio art major as well as a communication major, I'm highly involved in both of these departments. So every year I go to the show and I think it has a good turnout. Uh, it's, it's successful every year. However, I think that there's a lot more potential, one, to reach the rest of the campus population, including people in SOAC that don't know about the show. It's in the our department, but especially because it's largely advertised to the art majors. Um, I know that a lot of communication majors don't know that this is an, is an that this is an event that happens. Um, and then I also think that there's a lot of potential to advertise to the Tacoma locals. We have a really strong, um, well-loved artist community throughout Tacoma, and this event, I think, would very much appeal to those people. So every year when it comes to putting the show together, we have different committees in the art capstone class. So we have people that will hang up the pieces for the show, they'll do some setup. We have people who handle catering, we have people who handle cleanup, and then we have the people who are in committees that manage advertising and media. So one of our committees ma mainly manages social media, and then another advertising committee uh, designs awesome posters every year, and then those posters are distributed around campus. Because I created this plan with future classes in mind, especially because this year we did not have a physical show, so things were a little different, um, I tried to make it as simple as possible. The goal is to create something that will ease the process. You don't have to put as much thought into it, and it's it has a lot of uh, theory behind it, but it's easy enough for anyone to understand regardless of what they know about marketing and advertising. So for simplicity's sake, I divided the project into three parts. Firstly, I created a social media plan, and this covers everything from Facebook to Instagram to creating a Facebook event to using Hootsuite and knowing how to run multiple media accounts through that. Uh, secondly, I created a press release, uh, specifically a press release outline. This is something that I think is important to have. Uh, so I worked to create something that... Uh, has enough of a beginning to it, but enough room for things to be filled in. Um, I wanted to create something that would be in the correct press release format and still be uh, clearly outlined so that someone who has no idea how to write or format press release could fill it out and then send it out to publications. Lastly, I added a kind of new aspect to the advertising, and that is with a local business contact sheet. Um, this is essentially a piece that has the addresses, the phone number, the email, or messaging information of some local businesses that I have chosen and think would be a um, great way to advertise, especially with physical posters throughout the Tacoma area. So like I said, I did use theory to create this social media um, marketing and advertising plan. I used uh, Grunig's situational theory of the publics. Now this theory is uh, known for being used for crisis communication, however I uh, looked at it through a lens of event planning and I found some interesting texts that address this. Um, it works pretty much in the same way. Uh, this theory divides individuals into four publics, uh, so we have non-publics and latent publics which is what I'm calling uh, the passive publics or the passive group. And then we have the aware and active publics. And these are the people that fall under what I'm calling the passive group or audience. Um, for the sake of the project, I tried to keep it simple by dividing it purely into two target audiences. Um, that way we're not trying to get too complicated with a plan that is going to ideally be used by people who don't know anything about communication. Um, so addressing the active publics first, I largely catered the social media guide to this. Now the social media guide, like I said, covers, uh, let's start with Instagram. We already have an Instagram page 
for the senior student art show. I think that um, it could probably be utilized better. So one of the things I talked about, um, when addressing active publics, you need to be creating personalized content. Um, these, are, these active publics are people that already know about the show, or maybe they're family members of the artists in the show, or they're friends, or they're people on the PLU campus, or people in the SOAC department. Um, these people have a basis of knowledge that will allow them to be connected to the show. They know about PLU, they know about maybe the art department, they know someone in the department. So really to address these people and get them excited about the show, you need consistency. This is something that I think we even probably could have done this year. I know that a lot of things changed last minute, but I think that creating posts leading up to the show could have been beneficial in um, getting word out there that yes, we are still having a show, it's online, but it's still happening. And then you also want to create um, media that addresses these specific audience members. So like I said, we may have family members that want to attend the show. And so making posts about individual artists, um, show sneak peeks, um, what's going on behind the scenes, those can be really beneficial. I also address in the social media portion of the plan that Facebook needs to be utilized better. So we advertise the show a little bit through the PLU SOAC Facebook page, but I think that it would be beneficial to have a page that is specifically created and run by the senior capstone class, similar to what we have on Instagram. Um, I think that this one works for continuity sake and then also it even though the SOAC page does advertise a little bit uh, having a page that is run by students allows you to better control what goes on it and how often it's updated and with something like Hootsuite you can send the same posts to the Facebook and Instagram page um, and I think that especially with family members a lot of these people who fall into an older demographic are more likely to be on Facebook they're the ones that you want to be telling about the show giving them information I know family members can get really excited especially because the capstone show is um, something that happens right before their student is graduating so you want to be catering to those people so they know what's going on they aren't out of the loop um, and I think that using media um, effectively can really work in getting those people excited about what's happening. So for passive audiences, there's a little more work that goes into it. Passive audiences in this case would be people who um, don't know about the show at all, have never even heard of it. Um, these are people that maybe have never even heard of PLU, um, though if we're advertising to Tacoma locals, there's a good chance they have heard about PLU. Um, but these are people who you first need to pique their interest, you need to get them um, initially uh, curious about the show and then you have to finalize the deal and get them to want to come. So for passive audiences, one, I created the press release and the press release is something that's going to overlap between active and passive audiences, especially if it gets sent to the mast. Um, like I said, I created an outline so that future uh, PLU art department capstone committee members can fill it out with no knowledge of having ever written a press release. Um, this is something that I think could be beneficial because while it, one, goes in the mast and reaches a uh, wider campus population among both faculty and students and commu commuter students, um, I think that it could also be used to send out to Tacoma publications um, and reach an even wider audience there. Uh, I, I also talk about using Facebook to reach these passive audiences kind of by using the active audiences. Um, one of the things I include in the plan is creating a Facebook event. Now the SOAC page does create a Facebook event every year, however I know this year this may have just been due to uh, complications due to COVID, but it was created just a few days before our show opened online and there were people even in the uh, art capstone class that didn't even know there was a Facebook event. So I think in order to really create something successful you need to do it one a month or two before the show actually happens because then you get to use Facebook's algorithm to your benefit. So when we reach those active audiences by advertising the event through social media, they're gonna RSVP and then that RSVP is gonna show up on the uh, main Facebook feed of all their friends. So they're gonna see the show, they're gonna wonder what it is, maybe they'll check it out. Um, then you're piquing their interest. You get them to know about the show and then you work to advertise on your social media to further seal the deal. The other thing I added, uh, like I said, is kind of a new aspect, and that's a local business contact sheet. 
Uh, every year we have students that create some really amazing posters for the show and these are put up throughout the PLU campus but I think that especially because uh, printing an extra 10 or 20 posters wouldn't add much cost to printing that it would be beneficial to put these up in local businesses. So with the local business contact sheet, I chose some local businesses that um, fall under one of three categories. Either they are in close proximity to PLU, as in they are local parkland businesses. Um, they are in close proximity to other universities, so we're reaching other student audiences. Or they are businesses that are uh, supportive of the arts and have an art active uh customer base full of artists. So for example, I chose um, Honey at Alma Mater as one of the businesses and this is because they are uh, very much advocates for the arts there. They host a lot of events for artists, whether it be poetry readings or paint nights. Um, I think that advertising to an audience like that would be really beneficial. Um, I also chose Lander Coffee, which is just a couple blocks away from University of Puget Sound. And despite them being our um, our rival college, I think that the Senior Student Art Show really is um, something that is supposed to be interesting to fellow college students. I know that if I saw an advertisement for a University of Puget Sound art show, I would be uh, interested in going. So I chose businesses that I think uh, would really cater to those specific audiences rather than choosing just random restaurants, cafes, coffee shops, whatever. Um, you need to be strategic about what you choose and how you advertise. And I think that the local business contact sheet is a good place to start. It includes everything from uh, the business names to addresses to phone numbers to emails. Um, basically, how it's a way to get a hold of these people and ask if you can put a poster up in their establishments. So after creating these three uh, aspects of my plan for advertising, um, I have a couple of next steps that I want to take for the project. Um, because uh, the art capstone class is a little odd this year, like I said, we didn't apply anything like this to this year's show. We didn't really know what was going on uh, for a majority of the semester as far as show plans. Uh, but I plan to present this plan to uh, the capstone art professor, Mayor Blocker. Um, ideally, this guide will help future senior show social media and advertising committees uh, build upon the existing foundation and ensure even more success to the show in the future years. I think that has the potential to, um, and I think that this really will help ensure success in future years. <laughs>